You'll notice that this doesn't say chi-squared test of independence or goodness of fit. This is a test of independence because it's got two variables with multiple categories per variable. That makes it a test of independence. Normally, a goodness of fit only has one variable. So, again, this is these are tests of independence. So we're going to run a chi-squared test to see if there's any kind of association, which is could also be called a relationship. But a relationship normally has to do with correlations. Okay, So between genre and gender. Genre and gender. So here's genre. Those are the movie types. And we got eight kinds of movies. Actually, seven plus an other. But these are the basics. So there's eight different categories for genre of the movie. And gender, let's see what we got. We got, um, we got ones are females, twos are males, and three are others. I'm not going into any details here. So we got three different gender groups. So we're going to run a test of independence chi-squared. So we're going to go to analyze, descriptive means. They're called cross tabs. All right, so we're doing genre versus gender. Again, doesn't matter which is in row, which is in column. And this is what I normally take. I want the chi-squared. I take the phi or the Kramer's V. And I always want the expected next to the observed. And I always want the standardized residuals because if there is some kind of weird association going on in there, this will basically tell me where it is. Continue. We click OK. There's our output. So let's do some interpretation. Okay, this is how many people we had in the study. 250. Nobody missing. Now, this count is the observed. That's what was really there. That's somebody took a, a clipboard and they actually physically counted how many people that were action-adventure lovers that were female, male, other. Okay, And the expected count, if the null were true, this is what they would expect the numbers to be. Right. So there are a bunch of differences. And I see a big one right here, right off the bat. 2.3, that's the, the number of standard residuals they are from each other. In other words... They were expecting five and a half other genders to like action adventures, and they actually had twice as many. So twice as many people of other genders liked action adventure movies more than what was expected. So again, and then you got all kinds of numbers here. You got all kinds of mixes and matches that don't fit the expected. So there's going to be a significant difference. So don't act surprised. And there it is right there. Right, the chi-squared value is 43.7119 degrees of freedom 14, and this p-value is less than 0 0.01. So there was a significant association between a person's gender and what type of movie genres they liked. Okay, so that's that's definitely in there. And let's go ahead and take a look at our Kramer's V or our phi. So normally we like uh, Kramer's V, which is 0.296. Other books say use the fee, but they're both, consider them both like effect size, okay? So they're both pretty mild to strong effect size. So in other words, there is some definite associations, again, between movie genres and gender. Hope that helps. MGZ out.